Nick Mellon now, and uh, obviously what we're talking to Nick about this week when that bracket came out, uh, the idea of you and Pat Spencer going against each other, I think intrigued the entire lacrosse world. Uh, what were you thinking when you saw that matchup pop up? Honestly, you know, uh, obviously I, I'm, ex I'm excited to, you know, figure out who we were playing against. Um, you know, there's kind of speculation going on you know, the whole week leading up to it. Mm -hmm. um, not really knowing who we were going to see, but, um, you know, Obviously, it's an exciting feeling knowing that we're going to send down to uh, Maryland again and you know play a good Loyola team. Uh, it's going to be a great, great game, great matchup. Um, I mean, yeah, and I, th I feel like it's just another opportunity for you know our guys to uh, show what we can do. And I don't think we've ever seen you back down from an individual matchup. But what have you studied about Pat on tape? He's had such a great yeah. career, third all-time in points. So what's the challenge in trying to guard him? Um, honestly, you know. I have watched some film. Um, you know, I think it's just important to really, you know, figure out where he likes to play um, and what he kind of likes to do. Um, you know, you know, he, he's so versatile. That, you know, he, he's kind of plays all over the field. Um, you know, they set a lot of picks for him and whatnot. So you kind of just, you know, you know, scouting a player like that and a team like that, you just got to know what you know what they like to do and where they like to do it. I mean, when you can you know, get ahead of the game in any way, it's just going to help you that much more. I think, Nick, we know this, that defense is a team thing, but there are the one-on-one -on -one matchups, and your guy, whoever it is, has not scored a goal since March. Uh, how much pride do you take in a crazy statement like that? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really take a whole lot of pride in that. Um, I don't really think about that week in and week out. I kind of just take every, you know, matchup and every game, you know, week by week. Mm -hmm. um, and, but, like, looking back, when you hear that, stat, hear that stat, obviously, like, you know, I can only be grateful, um, great, especially grateful for, you know, just the program that I'm in and the support that I have, you know, with the players around me and, you know, our coaching staff. I mean, um, you know, obviously I, I personally don't think that stat would even be a thing if, you know, you know, the other five guys I'm playing defense with weren't on their toes, you know, every game. So um, it's, it's a good feeling, though, for sure. And if you hadn't won a bunch of the games, too, and you've won four of those five games. I was talking to Marcus earlier this week, and he was excited about your matchup as well. And he said something that knowing what you have done successfully – gives confidence to the rest of the defense that they know they don't have to spend time also worrying about that. How do you think that really blends in to the whole defense where those guys can worry about their thing while you're taking care of your business? It's just a good, it's a good mix, you know, it's a good compliment to have. I mean, um, I mean I'm going to do my job as best as I can. Uh, I think they know that and, uh, and then I know that they're going to do, you know, their job just as well. So. Um, it's it's 100% a group effort, you know. It's I know like you know there's a lot of you know attention on like the one-on-one -on -one matchups, but behind the scenes and like you know within the X's and O's, like there's so much more that goes on, you know, between the lines, and you know those those are the guys that you know the guy you know everyone has to work together, you know what I mean, to 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 make something happen, and I think that's where the attention should be. But you know I also understand that you know this is a pretty anticipated matchup, um, and. You know, believe me, I'm taking it very seriously, and I'm sure, you know, Loyal is as well. So, um, you know, we're just going to kind of go out there and try not to throw any crazy schemes at them, but, you know, just play our game the best that we know how. Nick, I know this. It was a year ago. You guys walked off the field disappointed from that Cornell game. Does that drive you this year and the veterans on this team, knowing that you guys haven't made that run in the tournament, that the opportunity yeah. is sitting there for you? It definitely, it definitely drives me. I mean, um, you know, knowing that we, you know, we got shorted the season early last year, um, I mean, obviously, it's not something where we're like, oh, we got to get this year back. We got to get this year back. But I think, you know, in the back of a lot of guys' heads, uh, that that's definitely, you know, sitting in there for sure. You know, even my freshman year, you know, when we got when we got we lost in the uh, was it the quarters or mm -hmm. semis against Maryland, you know, that's still in the back of my head. So, you know, we're just pushing, we're pushing, and pushing. You know, you know, there's a lot of good energy going around the locker room and the team. So, you know, the vibes are pretty high right now. All right. Lastly, Nick, what's the thought of going on the road this week? You know, the home playoff game and what managing that weekend is like how different will it be to be you know just the guys on the road getting ready for this one game uh, I mean yeah we've you know it's you know driving on to Maryland you know when we're you know we're going to prepare for it that way I mean we know we know what's at stake we're going to get down there we'll stretch out loosen up get rid of the bus legs probably practice before we leave tomorrow and then when we get to you know Friday in Maryland we'll have a nice little light practice get the legs flowing so you know, I, I don't really think that matters, um, but, you know, we're going to be ready to go either way. All right, Nick, enjoy it this weekend. Thank you.